Hello everybody, I am Chantelle and welcome to the back nine of Pit Talk Disc Golf Course located in Woodstock, Ontario. The front nine, in my opinion, was the easier nine. So I am sitting at a negative three and the back nine is a little bit more technical. There's more trees. So let's see if we can get some more birdies. Hole 10 is a par four, the only par four on the course, 528 feet. I'm going to be throwing my shrike and just trying to get over these trees and get a nice turn but i just put it a little too nose up so it fades out to the left and now i'm kind of pinched off uh, and i'm in deeper snow so just trying to throw my strike again try and get it in a decent spot for my upshot to the basket and that was okay uh, but now i'm behind this bench and it shouldn't be a problem um, it's low enough, so, but it's just in my head a little bit. <laughs> um, so I'm just throwing my zone up there. And it stops right at the basket, luckily, because there seemed to be a lot of spin on there still. <laughs> but we are close enough for the par. Hole 11 is a par 3, 306 feet. This hole is um, slightly uphill, so I am throwing my strike again. And that was looking good, but the wind was doing some funny things to it, so it kind of dropped down. And now I'm behind this tree. And I'm going to be straddling out, so I... I don't really have a uh, putt at the basket, so I'm just going to be throwing it up there somewhere close. And I went a little long, but it should be no problem. Hole 12 is a par 3, 257 feet. I like this hole. It's um, lined with trees on the left and um, just throwing my sting on a hyzer flip line straight up the middle. But again, the wind just turned it over too much. So it gets um, smashed down and I'm looking for a long putt again. And I didn't, I kept being in between a jump putt and a regular putt. The snow was, I don't know, I didn't want to fall when I, when I did a jump putt. So I wasn't uh, confident on those, but it's close enough for a drop in par. Hole 13 is a par 3, 228 feet. This hole is uphill and it uh, has a, has trees on both sides and it has a low ceiling so I'm throwing my sting again <laughs> and you can see I kind of uh, slipped on the tee pad so I turned it too much <laughs> and I'm looking at another long putt but that time I decided to do a jump putt <laughs> And I'm right there for another par. Hole 14 is a par 3, 332 feet. This is another slightly uphill hole. I am throwing my wraith and the shorter tee pads you can see to the right, I like their fairway better. So I was trying to do like the hyzer route to the basket, but <laughs> it turned over too much again. Uh, but I got a nice tree kick and I'm back um, in the middle of the fairway. So, But now, as you can see, I'm contemplating what to do. There's a tree in my way, so I can't really give it a good run. So I'm just laying it up for another par. <laughs> Hole 
hole 15 is a par 3, 372 feet. This hole is a big downhill hole. Um, I usually throw it out to the right because the pin is on the left, so it uh, likes to fade out a lot. So I'm just throwing my wraith, trying to get some turn on it. And I just um, kind of grip locked it to the right a little more than I wanted. So I'm a round pin high, just way to the right of the pin. So now I'm just gonna be uh, throwing my judge as close as I can to the basket. Hole 16 is a par 3, 305 feet. I really like this hole. It is another straight, straight to turn shot. So I'm throwing my sting on that hyzer line. And I was really happy with that uh, shot. It just drifted a little too much to the right, but I still have an easy up to the basket. There is that one tree blocking the basket, so I'm not, I'm kind of giving it a run, but not hoping for anything <laughs> to happen, but nice and close to the basket for another par. Hole 17 is a par 3, 277 feet. This one actually feels a little longer than 277 feet. Um, so I'm just throwing my wraith, trying to navigate all these trees, and I get a nice flex to it, and it just catches that hyzer angle again, and it kind of, um, bounces a little more than I wanted, but <laughs> finally cashing in a big putt for a birdie, so I'm happy with that, finally getting a birdie in the back nine. Hole 18 is a par 3, 405 feet. This is a pretty tough hole. It's uphill and it's pretty far and in the snow, I can just hope that I get halfway there. <laughs> so I'm throwing my ballista, trying to get some turn. And I kind of got stuck behind these two trees. Um, so I have a pretty long upshot to the basket. I'm just throwing my judge, trying to get some turn, and I left it a little bit short. I was, I was happy with it. It was the right line, just a little too low. So now I have this longer putt to save my par for my bogey-free round. <laughs> I was really happy with that. I was like, oh, I can't get a bogey on the last hole. So... That was nice. Finishing with a bogey-free round in the snow, I am super happy. So I finished the round with a negative four. It was a lot of fun playing in the snow. It's very challenging, but I'm glad that I played this course. Uh, the shorts were a little too short, so I was like, oh, let's do the longs for everybody. <laughs> so thanks again for joining me, and I will see you in the next one.